On Swift Horses Review, Jake of the Lordy and Daisy Edgar Jones light up the screen in a ravishing queer epic. On Swift Horses begins by showing us two images, sex and a deck of cards. Muriel, Daisy Edgar Jones, is making love to Lee, Will Poulter, a soldier on Lee from Korea. Meanwhile, Lee's brother Julius, Jacob and Lordy, has already been discharged from the war and is on his way to meet them both in Kansas with only his bag and those cards. It's almost Christmas and Lee wants Muriel to marry him, but she still hasn't given her answer. Even so, the mood between them is light and fun. When Julius arrives, for a moment, they are one big happy family in Muriel's cozy, secluded home which she inherited from her mother. Spacious, lived in, and lovingly decorated for the holidays, it's the exact kind of house one could imagine raising a family in. But Lee has dreams of California, and he wants Muriel and Julius out there with him when the war's over. It's a dream that sounds too good to be true, but he doesn't know it yet. On Swift Courses is the kind of big, sweeping romantic drama that Hollywood just doesn't make anymore. Director Daniel Minahan a veteran of the small screen for many years, from six feet under to fellow travelers, fills every widescreen shot with gorgeous landscapes and sumptuous colors, fully transporting us to a time when space was abundant and America felt full of possibility. The film, based on the book of the same name by Shan Pufai, is an emotionally complex love triangle that branches out into something even more complex. Muriel marries Lee while pining for Julius, who seems to have much more complicated feelings for her, mixed in with a genuine love for his brother. Over time, both Muriel and Julius find other lovers while writing each other all the while without Lee's knowledge. Julius meets Henry Diego Calvo while working at a casino in Las Vegas, and the two begin a passionate, caustic love affair. Down in the valley, Muriel skips work to fool around with her neighbor Sandra, Sasha Cal a woman living openly as a lesbian despite the stigma. With Henry, Julius finds a man even wilder than him, full of endless ambition. But when it comes to Muriel and Sandra, it's harder to tell if the feelings are real. Both Julius and Muriel love to gamble, but while cards are his poison, she prefers betting on horses. Much like their shared vice, their queer love lives are just as dangerous. Even though Muriel comes home every night to her husband, he knows nothing of the life she leads while he's away. Hiding her gambling money in their home, Muriel tries to maintain her double life without having to take the real risk of being alone. And though she sees Julius as a coward for not coming home to her and Lee, his life of risk is more honest, and over time he begins to confront his own demons. Elordi gives his best performance yet as Julius, showing his more sensitive, vulnerable side on the big screen for perhaps the first time. His love scenes with Calva are tender and exciting, the men exploring each other's bodies in a dreamlike motel room. Calva proves his memorable turn in the underrated Babylon two years ago was just a warm-up. He's got so much more to offer. In perhaps her meatiest role since Normal People, Edgar Jones gives an understated performance as Muriel, letting us get to know her through subtle gestures and expressions. Muriel is a woman hiding from her own potential, trying to fit herself into a neat little box, all the while knowing that she can't breathe once inside. Poulter's Lee is not cruel enough for us to root against him, but there isn't much for him to do beyond stand in as a symbol of everything Julius and Muriel want to run away from. A talented comedic actor, Poulter is convincing as the stereotypical 50s husband, reaching for his piece of the American dream. And then there's Callan, who plays Sandra as a woman in the middle, not wanting to fly free or hide, but rather making the world accept her for who she is right out in the open. On Swift Horses is about the shapes love can take, the varied lives we live, and the many different ways one can make a home. It's beautiful, heartbreaking, and demands to be seen on the biggest screen possible. Here's hoping it brings the romantic epic back into fashion.